And welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Kiko. He is ranked 40th in his gold division. Uh, he has 330 points with a record of 31 and 31. And here we are in the game. Let me unpause it for you guys. That's kind of bad. He is Kiko. He is a Terran. He is in the, the northeast. I am... Uh, the blue Terran in the north, he wants to have a little conversation with me. He noticed my icon, um, oh my gosh, bad, bad SCV placement. Um, I used the, the Murloc Marine, uh, which I got at BlizzCon, so, you know, I don't really want to have that much of a conversation because, well, my APM's real low. So I'm trying to get, um, so I try to, you know, I'm cutting to the chase here. Yeah, I got it, BlizzCon. He's like, nice! Put an O in there. Which makes it noise instead of nice. Which is awesome. You see what I did there? Yeah, no you didn't. So, um, Scrap Station. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that map. Uh, that, was stra th that the map is Scrap Station. Um, and already he seems to be going for a, a block off. Like, like on Scrap Station. It's, it's a tough block off to make. Um, I don't recommend it for the faint of heart. And once again, I'm going for the scout here because, you know what? When I scout on Scrap Station, I tend to win. So I'm scouting on Scrap Station. <laughs> Even if that means, uh, you know, that guy could have been harvesting this entire time. It's probably about 30 minerals now. Uh, just running back and forth is probably about 100 minerals that I've lost um, to get this information. So I do hope that is good. And what am I going to be seeing when I get there? Two racks right on the edge of the base. So, I don't know what to make about that. I mean, he's not going for an orbital command, so I definitely see that. I, well, he can't yet, but, you know, is he going to have enough? If he has enough for the, for the first barracks out, before that, well, the second barracks, before the first barracks is done, then he's probably not going to have enough for the orbital command, or he hasn't been making SCVs. I just know my math uh, with that. He definitely does not have enough uh, for the orbital command now. He actually blocks me in right here, uh, but luckily this guy's still queued up pretty harsh. Oh no, now he's not queued up at all. Oh. So I'm fully trapped in his base. What I should be doing now is just going around the outside maybe, or hiding in the corner hoping he doesn't see me. Uh, but no, I, I, I just kind of hide there, and then I'm like, oh wait, he blocked off? So weird still no overall command coming up here a refinery going up way late once again uh, he's going for definitely a different build than I'm used to and um, I, I don't know what to make of it it's an interesting build but not one I would recommend because um, you know you want to get that overall command especially on a on a map such as this scrap station where let's face it the rushing distance is huge so there we go. Orbital Command is up. It should be up earlier, though. You know, mine's done. It's been done, man. I'm just now getting my second and third barracks. This looks like an effective rust strategy, like a... Um, uh, the, 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 maybe the Marines and SEV push that I showed you guys earlier. That's called the Foxer, by the way. Um, if he went for the Foxer with this strategy, it, it would probably be effective, but not on this map because it is Scrap Station. Uh, he's going to take a, you know, hugely in the army count. He's got seven Marines out already. I've only got one, so if he pushed out now, it'd probably be really good for him. But the Marines are kind of spread out all over the place, it looks like. Uh, you know, two, 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 one. I don't know what he's going for here. Um, just now getting his first re, uh, first tech lab. Uh, he's getting a reactor on that first barracks just now. Mine's been up for a while. Tech labs are up and research is going down on both of them already. Um, do I have the engineering bay on the way? I do. So I'm definitely going to be catching up fairly quickly here um, because I should have a lead I do have a lead in the in the harvester count getting more uh, what's next to that mule uh, in minerals uh, he just got his now so it's almost even there and he of course now is going off two gas I'm still only going off one uh, so we should be seeing tech 
and missile turrets going up at the six and a half minute mark. Um, I don't know what to make of that. That's, I mean, it's way too early, I can tell you that. Um, I don't know if he thought, well, he hasn't been in my base at all. He's seen absolutely nothing. But even if I went for Banshees as fast as I possibly could, there's no way I could get one up and cloak by now. You know what I mean? He's got plenty of Marines. You know, he might lose like two Banshees. Or, or sorry, two SCVs before the before uh, the Marines make it over there. So I, you know, Missile Turret's just way too early here. He's checking the gold expansion, making sure I don't get it. I do not have it. And look at that. That's horrible timing from him. He feels confident that I'm not pushing in now uh, because that Marine is on the way. And he he's like, oh, well, he got scouting done. But no, he didn't because I went the shorter route. And I'm taking out the destructible debris here because I assumed that these two barracks here meant that it was going to be a two racks expand. That was what I had assumed. But that is not what we're seeing. We're actually seeing enough. two factories going up. Uh, supply depots going down all over the map. He has supply locked himself. He's checking my expansion. I don't have an expansion, man. I have an army. Mm, look at that. I... I completely overtook this lead here with an army. Uh, he's still just getting marines, and uh, now just siege tanks coming out. Um, he's researching the stim pack. That is why he went for um, that's why we went for the tech lab. And here, I'll be honest, um, the block off actually hurts him here. Um, because he has nothing in front. Because he doesn't have siege tanks up yet. Oh, Marauder is out, by the way. Um, you know, I'm able to get as many shots off as I want on those on those barracks, and there's really nothing he can do about it. Um, you know, his one siege tank is out now. It will not have uh, siege tank research. Uh, there we go. Siege mode is researched, so he definitely got that very early. A uh, hellion on the way as well. I don't know what the hellion's going to be doing. Um, I, I did stop the, the production on that starport so it looks like what he was going for this build was a medevac drop um, and then have siege tanks guard um, his base with the block off um, but my early aggression um, with the three racks is going to prevent that every time you know I, I've got pretty much a larger army coming in now than I did the first time and I saw how much damage I did so now I'm queuing up everybody to go here he does that marine that went out to scout is just hanging out watching my guy build apparently um, I do see that tank go down so I did focus it down SCVs are gonna get there way too late um, now I'm taking pot shots off on the SCVs and he GG's I GG back because you know it was a good game uh, he was going for a different build than I was and um, because he wasn't um, really going for anything early uh, my early army was able to take it out uh, he says though my hopes weren't high I was slightly favored in this game because he was uh, ranked low on the um, on the gold we might have been even though now that I think about it uh, his as uh, Marine going in there, uh, but I do want to point it out. Don't be intimidated by people's um, by people's icons or their portraits or whatever, unless you absolutely know that what it would take to get that is something that you cannot do. Like for instance, if um, if he go if he's got the I believe it's an old like a picture of Nancy, uh, oh, not Nancy Sarah Kerrigan. Um, you guys are probably too young to remember Nancy Kerrigan. Uh, uh, Sarah Kerrigan, you know, then that means that he won Brutal um, Campaign, which I don't think I'm, I am I can do yet, uh, thanks to Protoss. Uh, the Protoss missions are killing me right now. Um, then, yeah, you know, feel free to say, oh, man, that guy's good, but really, I got mine for attending BlizzCon. And although it sounds like that means I could be really good, it really means that I paid money. <laughs> That's all that means. Uh, that you know, it just happens to be here. I, you know, it's not like 
I went out of my way to go to it. I told you, I actually passed by it twice or three times this weekend, the convention center where it was held. I live here, man. Uh, so it wasn't too hard for me to go to BlizzCon. I actually went after work on Friday. Um, it doesn't mean anything about your skill level. Um, you know, I, I've known people that are still stuck on bronze that, that do have the that have the Murloc Marine uh, terrible players, I'll be honest. Um, just just can't can't do anything. Um, some of them are scared to, to even go on uh, multiplayer still with the Murloc Marine. It means nothing. Uh, don't psych yourself out about a portrait. Um, you know, just just keep doing what you normally do. Maybe I maybe I'm just overreacting to, to what he said. Because it did look like he did have a strategy coming up later in the game that he was going to be going for medevac drops with, with siege tanks. Um, but um, until you find out what I'm... What, what your opponent is doing, that's not a very safe strategy anyways. Uh, so I would advise against it, especially with these missile turrets so early. Waste, just just wasted minerals, really, because he had never he didn't do any scouting, and, you know, I didn't have any air units. I don't even have a factory up. And this this factory, will, this, this command center here will never see the light of day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.